Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is a pretty view, isn't it? Not bad for a homeless pauper, huh? You know, we have our moments. Hope you can see me. My phone is just, you know, it's what it is. I'm currently at my favorite location, just north of Newport. I call it Moloch um, Bluff. Let's just call it Moloch Bluff. Because there's a Moloch Inn down the hill in a parking lot, so I'm just going to call it that. <clears throat> uh, the thing I was going to bring up, a couple things. It's almost like the enemy within. You don't know who to talk to about things because you, people have such weird, warped visions of what reality is. Like that Roddenham kid or whatever, that kid that, you know, got, you know, shot those guys during the riots because he was patrolling the neighborhood with his AK, you know, whatever. And and this guy, and that, that guy that was leeching on me was like his energy. He was like, yeah. And I was talking to this one of the artists, and he goes, some of them I don't like. And he goes, and I was like, okay. And he goes, they she brought up that guy, and he killed those two men, and one of them was a pedophile or whatever, uh, and he deserved to die. And he was like, well, that was what I draw the line. I was like, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. I was like, my opinion on that dude is he should have never been out in the streets with that gun patrolling his neighborhood unless he was deputized and the reason why he was out there most people just ignore this these facts as a journalist is the cops gave up it was fucking the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my fucking life you had cops kneeling in front of crowds of people that were burning down towns I used to be when I was a child one of the first instincts I had one of the first Things I wanted to be when I, and it wasn't a firefighter, wasn't a doctor, wasn't a singer, it was a cop. That's what I wanted to be when I was little. I wanted to be a cop. I wanted to be a knight of the realm. I wanted to be somebody that people could trust and depend on when things got weird and shitty and scary. Cops gave up. They bailed. They were running away from the fucking mobs. They were mobs were burning down police precincts, burning down cars, beating the shit out of... If you guys know how many cops were beaten and injured and they're no longer cops anymore because of the fucking riots and and all the Secret Service agents that were injured during that assault on the White House, that was a fucking the most bizarre thing I'd ever seen. They actually had... They were trying to get at Trump in the White House and you had like fucking an army of Secret Service trying to keep them from getting in the White House and burning it down. And that isn't even a fucking blip on a radar. There's no investigation into that. There's no, you know, hearings or investigation into that shit, right? See, these motherfuckers are just burning down shit, killing people on the streets, and just... And the cops were AOL, man. And so this kid had to go out there and, you know... He's, like I said, he should have never been there. He wasn't a cop. He wasn't a professional law enforcement officer. But all the law enforcement, excuse me, all the law enforcement officers took a fucking day off and allowed people to be terrorized. You see where I'm at? You see where I? You feel me? This is when the emperor of the universe comes in, and I step in because children were being hurt, mothers were being hurt, grandparents were being beaten up. These are just everyday people, had nothing to do with nothing, dude. Just wanted to go to work, wanted to go home, wanted to go to the park. You got beat up by a bunch of fucking psychopath, racist fucking robots. They were being pumped out of these colleges, man, by these psychopath fucking professors. I'm pissed, dude. It hurts my heart because the, the way... I'm, gas went up 40 buck, 40 cents, excuse me, in a day. I was paying 411 out here for a premium. Now it's 455 or some shit. And a day. And it's all Putin's fault. Apparently by the, the guy I was talking. That's what I mean by you don't know who to talk to. Because the guy at the gas station didn't blame Biden. I've been paying that much for gas for the last year. It's been shit. We shut down America. We were independent. We were basically. We were energy independent for the first time ever. Under Trump. Only because he was. We were doing pipelines, we were doing this and that, and drilling and coal mining, and people were, you know, and they're doing it everywhere in the world, but now we're buying Putin's oil. So somehow it's fucking Putin's fault that we're buying his oil and he's starting wars and shit. Why are we still buying his oil? Yeah, these fucking idiots, right? 
the guy at Walmart. I was like, hey, in three days, you won't have to wear a mask no more in Oregon. Yay. And he's like, well, I'm going to keep wearing my mask because I have a young child at home. And I'm like, God, you're a fucking moron. And I didn't say that to him, but I was like, I just like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like people are this low IQ individuals, man, and they're scary. They're a lot of them are violent, apparently. I got that pissed. I just uh, it hurts my heart, man, because cops should be cops, dude. If, or if, you know, there's law, there's there's order, there's law and order, there's a balance to the universe. Even Mother Nature, even Mother Gaia, has to have balance and understands balance. So when you have these liberals talking about, you know, I don't know what the, they're thinking, defunding police. The police are supposed to be the the security, the protectors of the society. If there's some assholes, weed them out. But you don't just. We're not gonna have cops no more. We're gonna, they're gonna have social workers show up for violent, for like when a guy's beating the shit out of his old lady because he's a violent piece of shit. They're gonna send some social worker with a fucking notepad. That person's gonna get hurt. And it's, there's already record. There's already instances in New York where they had the we're doing the social workers instead of the cops showing up at accidents and shit like this. And this one lady got the shit beat out of her by this lady who was not having it. She didn't have any respect for this lady. You're not a cop. Fuck you. And the lady pushed it, and she's like, boop, knocked her out. The reason why I'm so fired up is there's a person parked in this fucking car over here. On, and, and they've been here since I got here, from day one. When I got here, uh, what, I don't know, a week ago? I don't know. Time flies, right? When I got here, it was storming crazy. It was the beginning of the storm, and I went to Depot Bay. That person was parked in that car. That car hasn't moved. It's been a week. And I don't know how they're living, if they're eating. And I saw them move. I just went over there. I parked over there, and I saw movement in the vehicle. So somebody's living in this car, and they haven't moved. They haven't. That car has not moved. So I don't know where the groceries are coming from or how they're sanitary. And I, it just hurts my fucking heart, and I want to go there and talk to them. I'm probably going to end up giving them some food in a minute. But uh, I just like, what the fuck, dude? And nobody cares, man. <sighs> yeah, see what I mean? I'm on a rant. This is a rant. We need order. We need we need we need peace. That's why they call them peace officers. There used to be a thing, cops were called peace officers. Your job is to keep peace, keep order, keep balance. <sighs> they went but they did. A lot of cops went from, you know, protect and serve to abuse and neglect, right? So but then again, when you when you have liberals in charge of the cops, and then all of a sudden the cops are being dicks, and then you wonder why the policy that the cops... Think about it. Liberals in charge in L.A., right? In charge of all the, the mandates and the masks and the vaccines and the lockdowns. And when people started disobeying the lockdowns, who did these liberals call on to fuck with the people? Cops. And the fucked up part was the cops went along with this bullshit and were arresting people. For not wearing masks and shit like that, and not get leaving the, you know, yeah, for not wearing masks in stores, they were getting arrested. It was it was bullshit, and these were cops. So cops were doing the dirty work of these fucking liberal scumbags, who in in, in the end want to get rid of the cops. Talk about a mind fuck, right? Obviously, I'm a little perturbed, man. I'm just it hurts my heart when I because I can feel this this is this is fucking misery. This person's I'm in a nice vehicle that has some room, and I have some supplies. This person's in like a cutlass or some shit. You know what I mean? A four door. You can't live in those fucking things. And that person has not li I'm just, oh my God. <sighs> Love and light. I'm sorry. I'm just, it hurts my heart, man. And I feel it. And that's, that's the, that's the hard part about being able to tap into the collective, the internet of humanity and, and feel what they feel. Cause he, he, I can pump it out, but at the same time I get it back too. I, I, it's kind of like taking the temperature of the, the universe and you go, oh my God, people are freaking out. That's not good. So We need to work on this, people. Work in your community. Don't worry about these assholes. Don't worry about Worry about your community. Worry about your surroundings. Worry about the people starving in your fucking community. Worry about, pardon my French, worry about the people going hungry, going cold, sleeping outdoors. There's got to be facilities somewhere where you can open a door and let them just hang out and be warm. Maybe get a checkup. Maybe a meal. Focus on that, and then we'll work on the big issues. But right now, man, when I see people like this living in their car and just not moving, it just hurts my heart, man. Whew. 
And I just want to put foot in ass, man, because I know the people who are supposed to be taking care of that person, whoever that, God bless them, whoever they are. Everybody needs to be taken care of. And a lot of them are mentally ill. And it's like, how the fuck are you keeping track of that? They ain't nothing, keeping track of nothing. They're bank accounts. That's all they care about. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. This has just been a really deep video. But I'm fired up, man. I'm fired up. Hopefully, you know, you turn it into a positive. But at the same time, you know, sometimes you got to come home, turn on the lights, and tell the kids to get the fuck home. Get out. Right, call your mama and daddy. <laughs> anyway, I love you. I want you to have a wonderful day. The world is a beautiful place. It is. It's an amazing place. And I've been around a chunk of it. So I'm going to tell you, life is going to get better. We're going to get better. We just need to get rid of some assholes. That's all. It's going to be a beautiful world. And that's my hope. Because I have grandbabies and I want them to have that world. They're going to. we got to work together, people. Whew, I just hope this video even comes out, man. I'm get, they're getting squirrely with everything. My bank account just went dry for some reason. I had like 60 bucks and now I got nothing. So I got to call and figure that out. Anyway, YouTube's messing with my videos. It's not showing them up. Yeah, like I said, my, my art gallery is still not showing up on my main feed. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm going to sit here and watch some whales and watch some sea otters run around. But no sharks. So yeah, check this out. Get a slice of that for five seconds, right? Anyway, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day, and it's gonna get better. It's gonna be okay. 